Hey there, everybody. Pete here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. We've got another fairly new release. This one actually came out of the tail end, very quietly, the tail end of 2019 from Nuclear Blast Records. We're talking about the fourth album release from Swedish Doom, Occult Metal, Folk Metal Act, Avatarium. Okay, this one's called The Fire I Long For. All right. Seems like the last couple of uh, Avatarian CDs have come out very quietly. It's like almost like they just they kind of released them and not a lot of fanfare. But if you haven't heard this band or kind of missed any of their albums, a uh, really, really good group, of course, founded by the legendary bassist from Candlemass, Leif Edling, all right? Their bass player extraordinaire and also chief songwriter. Okay, so he basically founded this band along with uh, vocalist Jenny Ann Smith along with her husband, uh, Marcus Jidel, on uh, guitar, who also has played with um, Evergrey, okay, as uh, well as also he currently plays, I believe he plays in Solon as well, he's also been in Royal Hunt. Uh, recently, uh, Leaf has actually left the band. He's no longer touring with them or recording with them. Uh, he's due to some health reasons and he's dedicating whatever he can to Candlemas. Uh, but he still has co-written a bunch of songs on here. So he's lent his songwriting skills as well. But now, uh, basically this band is now, you know, basically run by uh, Jenny Ann Smith and Marcus Jidel, her husband. Uh, we've also got, uh, Ricard Nielsen on keyboards. Okay, and on drums we have Andreas Habo Johansson. Okay, with a couple uh, guests on backing vocals and things like that. So this album follows their previous one, Hurricanes and Halos, in 2017, which for my money was not the best of the three that had been released prior to this. I thought the self titled debut, Avatarian, for 2013, and The Girl with the Raven Mask from 2015 were absolutely spectacular. Uh, kind of examples of Swedish doom metal along the lines of, you know, Candlemass and certainly with plenty of uh, Black Sabbath and maybe uh, cathedral influences, but mixed with a little bit of folk and some like kind of epic metal, progressive metal along the lines of like maybe very early Rainbow, like Ronnie James Dio, like Rainbow Rising era Rainbow, that sort of thing. Uh, now with the full-time keyboard player, you can hear a little kind of Deep Purple Uriah Heap stuff kind of uh, moving into the music, but this is a very good album, uh, despite the fact that Leaf is not on it. Like I said, he does co-write a, uh, a couple of songs, or actually wrote a couple of songs. Uh, most of this now, uh, Smith and Jidel are actually doing the bulk of the writing here. But still, the kind of flavor of the band has not left. So, And, you know, um, her vocals, um, Jenny's vocals, are just absolutely majestic. You know they're powerful when need be, but she's just, she has like if if I were to, if you were to kind of take her voice out of the music and listen to it on its own, I and I'm guessing maybe that's kind of what she sang early on, but she sounds like a just a majestic ethereal folk singer, uh, but she can be quite powerful as well. She doesn't scream; she just has this kind of very angelic voice that sits well within this kind of epic doomy uh, music here. And uh, she's the whole show now, basically. You know, I mean, yeah, the, the guitar riffs of her husband are, are awesome as well. But um, it's just her voice just carries you through these epic songs. So here, a good mix of stuff, you know, good amount of hefty, powerful, potent doom on here, uh, as well as some more kind of progressive leaning stuff, a couple more... Um, atmospheric almost folky type pieces so we've got uh their crushing voices which is i mean that's that's like typical avatarium if you love candle mash you'll dig that as well just big beefy gargantuan riffs uh rubicon's another kind of up-tempo heavy doomy proggy rocker right you got lay me down a little more majestic some nice melodies in there same thing with porcelain skull uh, another kind of mystical, doomy, atmospheric track. Uh, Shake That Demon, hard driving, kind of deep purple URI heap, ham and organ, crunchy rocker type of thing. Really, really good. Uh, the Great Beyond, ominous, majestic, magical, heavy. Uh, the Fire That I Long For, another cool, just um, trying to find words to describe some of these songs because they're just so powerful. They hit you right here and her vocals just like soaring over the top. Uh, you've got the kind of 
dark, deceiving epitaph of heroes, a, a sleeper track on this album. Killer, killer guitar riffs. It's heavy, and you feel it in your bones. And then the album finishes off with the start with the song Stars They Move, written by Lee Fedling, but mainly kind of like a, a short piano ballad, right? So it's basically piano and vocals. Very somber, okay, very emotional. Kind of cool way to take you out on this album, which, like I said, it has a lot of flavors, a lot of different textures. And I think, you know, it's a real shame because I think this band would have a lot of appeal to a lot of people. They obviously appeal to the metalheads. I think they could appeal to the heavier prog crowd. And the female vocals are so good and so endearing and addicting. I think, you know, mainstream rock uh, folks would definitely dig this as well. If you like kind of like the retro rock, hard rock sounds, you know, from the 70s, 70s hard rock, occult rock, doom rock from the 70s. Uh, there's a lot of bands kind of out there doing that. We just talked about the new Lucifer early on on the show, right? We talked about their latest album. I think if you dig that stuff, you'll like this too. All right. Seriously, you know, this is maybe a little less groove laden type stuff here. This is definitely more from the doom camp. But I think the vocals are just absolutely lovely. The songs are very memorable and endearing and the, the musicianship is top notch. So I dig this album a lot. Let me see. Can we, uh, do we have anything I can show you? Get you a picture of the band here. I don't even remember if they have anything in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. So there she is. There's Jenny with her hair up. All right. We're in the suit. There's hubby. And there are the guys, plus some lyrics. Uh, a very good album. I dig this band a lot. Um, I Like I said, I think uh, kind of ingenious to do kind of like um, 70s style doom and occult rock uh, with, you know, lovely female vocals. I think it works really, really well. And these guys are really powerful. So check it out. Avatarium, The Fire I Long For, out now on Nuclear Blast Records. This was a late 2019 release, uh, which is kind of getting to now. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. This is on the web at www.catranquilly.org we're on Facebook we're on Twitter of course we're here on YouTube all the damn time we got some more reviews coming up over the next day or two uh, the new Psychotic Waltz uh, the God Shaped Void, as well as the new Archon Angel Fallen. All right, so those are some other brand new releases that uh, I want to talk to you guys about. We've also got the new uh, Richie Kotzen 50 for 50 triple disc set with 50 new songs. Man, oh man, I, that's going to be a little while for that because I have not fully digested it. So, uh, But anyway, some other stuff coming up, so stay tuned. And a lot of things happening this weekend, so you don't want to miss any of it. All right, so we'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.